little dove said that it's going to wait out the storm right there on that picnic table. We just heard something hit the back of the trailer. I don't know what it was. Well, we are headed up to Port Clinton, Ohio. We're going to be camping right on the river in a beautiful campsite. And I can't wait to get there and to get set up. Could anyone tell me why a train would go two cars past the road and decide to stop? It's going to be a big change for me being around water instead of back in the woods somewhere. But I'm going to consider this a nice, easy camp. walking out on this little concrete boardwalk here and uh, this is so nice so nice to be around the water but that's coming right there is coming to look back towards our camp. This really reminds me of Arizona. I so miss Arizona. Have you ever seen a more beautiful sky in your life? Oh my. I don't know whether you got any audio on that last one because my mic had shut off. But we are in a storm. We are in a tornado warning. Here comes the siren. Here comes the rain. The lightning has stopped. Front change directions wasn't going to be good. Trying to show you guys the best I can what's going on here. They said we'd have all kinds of big hail possibly and boats could be capsized. Oh yeah, we're right in the middle of it. Connie asked what we should do if a tornado comes along and I told her the only thing to do is grab the dogs and get in the Jeep. Picking back up a little bit now. The wind has died way down. The water has really died down. It's almost flat down there. Out there, the choppiness is gone. The water is just flat out there right now.
We just heard something hit the back of the trailer. I don't know what it was. I might have to wait till this is over to go out and see. I don't believe it was hail because it sounded like something rather big. It had to be a limb that was carried through the air. There's no trees around us. This is the aftermath of the storm we were just in. I feel bad for our neighbors. The tent used to sit right there. It's now over there. It's a nice tent too. It's a Nemo. They'll just have to recover when they get back and set it back up. I did go over and pick their chairs up and put them on top of the picnic table. They were over there. Now we heard something hit the back of the cargo and I see no damage to the back of the cargo but uh, there was a lot of blowing around a lot of things flying through the sky so it's hard telling what it was red skies at night huh well over here this didn't fare so well all of these came down from this pretty much dead tree the porta pot uh, we aren't going to be able to use that any longer there's the porta pot it didn't do too well I don't know that I showed you when we first came in but it was sitting right there on them rocks in the middle of them rocks this here came down this is a, a storm that I haven't been in for a long long time I feel bad for them folks they I, I guess um, they are had went to Cedar Point for the day according to the hip camp owner and I'm not going to touch their tent I'd like to try to get it set back up for them but I'm not going to touch it there's a bunch of wood laying around it's hard telling what hit the cargo but we made it through with the stabilizer jacks down and the jack down in the front I kind of had wished that I had left it attached to the Jeep when this all began but I didn't but I don't see I see here where something had maybe hit it right there but I see no dents or scratches Whew. what a storm tripods down yeah yeah we're alive that's well I am trying to get this fire going not having a whole lot of luck the wood got soaked I've got a bunch of fat wood in there and I think I might have it dried out enough that it's going to take off, but we will see. What we've done, we've got baked potatoes, we've got cabbage quarters, and we have zucchini that we're going to make inside on the, in the skillet. And pretty soon, I'm going to let that stuff cook about 10 more minutes, and then I will throw the steaks on there but yeah we're going to eat good endless weekends is eating good again they came down stood the porta pot back up and cleaned it so mom was going to go over there and try it and they also informed us there must be another set of strong storms coming through in about an hour to two hours so We'll brace for number two. Good morning, everybody. 
Starting to get hungry, so I decided to toast me up a bagel. Cinnamon raisin. Didn't get a lot of filming done last night, mostly of the storm. I guess once in a while, if you camp a lot, you're going to run into storms. Wasn't the ideal situation. The 6x12 cargo trailer did pretty good. It does have stabilizer jacks on the back that I had down. <clears throat> and at one point I wish I had left it attached to the Jeep. But uh, I'll spin you around here. That tent has since been put back up, but it was completely demolished last night and it was up into them trees over there so and I had went over 75 feet picked their chairs up for them and put it back on the picnic table that couple is uh, at Cedar Point in Ohio so they didn't even come back last night because we had another round of strong storms overnight <clears throat> between 11 and 1 so that's I didn't get much filming done last night and I'm sorry about that but this video is probably going to be mostly about the storm <clears throat> and uh, the porta pot over there was completely blown over and the owner of this hip camp has since come back and, and fixed the porta pot um, we had good weather well not good weather it was rained off and on but we had decent weather without storms but other than that this heat dome had created just the right situation for for a storm. I do want to show you some of the beautiful views that we are in right behind me here. I don't know, I would call it a lagoon. It's just a, a runoff. Uh, it's, I don't know, it's probably deep enough to have fish in it, but it comes from the Portage River. So it is beautiful. It is very beautiful. One thing I want to say that I'm thankful for is that I didn't bring the tent. Had I brought the gazelle or a, a lower tent might have survived. But you've seen that, uh, and it's a Nemo, that Nemo they've got over there that didn't survive. I don't think my gazelle would have survived. <clears throat> but uh, who knows. But I'm thankful that I brought the cargo camper instead of the gazelle. That is one good thing to be thankful for. And I uh, just want to say, as always, never stop dreaming. Even if you're 70, 80, 50, 60, 70, 80, whatever. Love others the best you can. And endless weekends. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.